Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gala node from scratch using Vulture. So Vulture is a hosting program. And I'm going to show you how to do it through a Linux interface using command lines, etc. So I know a lot of people get worried about setting up master nodes. And people who are new to master nodes, um, one of the main questions that I get is, is it hard to set up? So it kind of deters some people of getting into master nodes because they think it's too hard or that they they think they actually need to be so technical to a point that you know it scares them off in terms of investing into these nodes right so let's get into the video i'm going to kind of go over my thoughts on gala nodes because the number one question that i get is is gala nodes is it worth buying a gala nodes and if you haven't seen my video on investing into a gala node check out this video that i made here over here and then I'm going to get into some points that I did miss out. After I made the video, there were some key points that a lot of people told me about that I didn't include. So I'll get into that. Then I'll get actually into the hands-on on how to set it up through Linux and everything. And I'm just going to show you how much maintenance is needed for a Gala node. All right, before we get into the video, please do me a favor. If you could follow me on Twitter over here, at Tech Tips to Go 1. So it's at Tech Tips to Go with one at the end. And also just come over here to my YouTube channel and give me a subscribe, like, comment on any of my videos, especially this one. You can see the video here that I made on Gala Nodes at the bottom here. So I, I made this video, are Gala Nodes still worth it? So one of the key things that I did leave out with Gala Nodes, other than, you know, they are going to be an NFT at the end of the final sale and the final sale of a gala note is going to be worth $33,000. It's also going to be an NFT that you own that's minted on the blockchain and that you can sell. So that is one of the rewards that I like that I saw. Also, um, people were talking about and there's a misconception that there is going to be having. So the rewards were going to be cut in half. But because we have voting rights as community members, of the gala ecosystem and by holding these nodes we were able to vote to say that we don't want the having so now that the rewards are going to stay the same it's a better incentive to actually get these nodes so now i know a lot of people talk about gala nodes and you shouldn't be looking at gala nodes as an investment it's more for supporting the ecosystem but for those of you who are wondering how much can you really make with gala nodes etc you know if you were to invest into it but like i said you should be looking at more of gala nodes and supporting the ecosystem because on top of the gala node reward so you can make you know anywhere from like let's say i've got around seven to eight gala nodes seven online and i'm doing about five thousand five hundred gala node tokens so that could be roughly about 100 to 150 a day depending on the price it could be about two to three hundred dollars a day depending on the gala price now on top of all of that like i mentioned you get voting rights as well as you get random nft drops so if you haven't seen my video check out check out my video since then i've gotten a lot of random nft drops and because i own more than one um, i continue to get random nft drops now one of the main things that i left out about gala nodes that uh, makes things more of an incentive for you to buy or to get into one of these gala nodes is within all of these games that they continue to create so this is one of the games that they are creating called fortified so with fortified um, and apparently by the end of this year apparently there's supposed to be like 12 more games now don't quote me on this but that's what i heard there's going to be i think up to 12 more games now currently we get rewarded in gala the token but every game is going to have their own currency so let's say for example fortified over here is a tower defense game now one of my one of my drops over here the tower is selling for 1590 i've got 11 of these just because i've got random airdrops so on top of, of the gala node rewards that you get with every with with the gala ecosystem for every game that they are creating and apparently like i said there i think they're going to be creating 12 by the end of the year they're going to have their own native currencies so for example maybe fortified is going to have you know the the ffd token so anything within that game you need to get that certain token you are going to get rewarded with that token for every game so every game is going to have its own currency and you're going to get 
random airdrops for this game, random airdrops for the next game, as well as earning, I know I shouldn't be saying this, passive income from the fortified currency token that you could probably sell for gala tokens and then bring the gala to over, over to you know an exchange like uniswap or buy true etc and sell it for xrp sell it for usdt sell it for bitcoin whatever it is but you should be looking at more of of gala and holding that master node to support the ecosystem for its power and security of the blockchain itself so anyways Let's get into how to set it up, how to set it up on Unix, where to buy your server allocation, etc. So let's get into the video. I'm going to show you, I'm going to create a new account with Vulture, log in and show you exactly what you need to do. All right. So the first step here is we want to create an account. So we're going to come over to Vulture.com. Let's register. I'll probably have a, a referral link down below if you want to do that. So let's just Add this let's add my credit card etc so billing payment you want to make sure that you have billing payments now once you have your billing payments you link your credit card what you want to do is you want to come over here to products okay so I'm gonna go over this uh, and one of the main things that you need to do is join their discord channel so within the discord channel you're gonna get access to the admins for support etc so let's come over to discord now when you enter the discord group for gala games so you're going to come over to gala games and you're going to go to founders nodes so underneath founders nodes you're going to go to pinned messages go to pinned messages at the top right and you're going to find the information that you need to find in order to follow the exact sequence that i'm going to be showing you so come over to pin message let's just click on it now let's just go look at node map nodes are not an investment they make that very clear that nodes are not an investment all right, so once you created your Vulture account, the first thing you want to do is you want to actually select a cloud compute server. So the instructions and information is here. So over here, it actually tells you uh, within your within your Vulture account, click on products, then click on the plus sign and you want to select cloud compute. Server location is closest to you. Now there's a little trick here that you could actually get a server or up to six servers for around, around $3.50. Now, I can't do it because I've got the maximum amount of servers at that price. I think uh, Vulture actually only allows you X amount of servers, and I think it's like seven or eight servers at $3.50. Once your account goes over, then you're going to have to pick another tier, which is about $5 a month. So we're going to go to Cloud Compute Server Location. The server type is Ubuntu at 20.04x64. So let's do this. We're going to set Cloud Compute. Now, you want to either select New York or Chicago, and it's going to tell you the price. The server type is 64-bit OS, like this it says here. X64 server type is Ubuntu 20.x, 20.04. So Ubuntu select 20.04x64. All right, now you can see IPv6. It'll tell you if you need to do IPv6, but I think... Uh, here it says, select the server size. This can be of any size of your choice, choosing. The Founders Nodes does not currently support IPv6, so you have to select IPv4, okay? So please do not select IPv6. So come over here, and you want to make sure this is only for IPv6. So you could select this one, $3.50 a month, which is very, very cheap. So let's recap this. Watch, if we go to Los Angeles and we go to Ubuntu 20.04, look at the price. The price minimum is $10 a month, uh, $5 a month here, $20, $40, etc. So now look at this. If you go to Miami, let's take a look at the prices. The prices are $5, $10, $15, 20 But if you select New York or I think Chicago, maybe Chicago also has a small price. Nope. It's actually New York. So New York, uh, we selected Ubuntu. Yeah, perfect. 64-bit. The lowest price is $3.50. So you could do, I think, a max up to um, seven or six of these at $3.50. So if you're loading up on Gala nodes, pick this one. Make sure that you pick New York. I've got majority of mine in New York. and majority of people do have theirs in New York. 
Um, now, I skipped all of this. Enable IPv6, enable, enable, I skipped all of that. You can run a startup script if you want. You can run SSH keys, which I do recommend. Now, you want to follow these instructions over here. So, you can put in a server host name. You could call it Gala1, Gala2, Gala3, whatever you want to name it. You can come down here and select enter server host name, enter server label. All right, so after you have your server host name and label, then you just want to deploy it. Now, once you deploy it, you're going to see this underneath your products. So now I'm just going to log out of this and actually get into my real account. Now, as you can see, I've got uh, a bunch of accounts over here because I run multiple master nodes. So let's just come over to the one in Chicago. Now, what you want to do is you just want to come over and click on it. And now you can see I've got Gala 7. Now, you don't want to be leaking this IP information in case anyone wants to get into it. So that's why I have it cleared out here. Now, what you want to do on your MacBook Pro, okay, let's just come over to this window. Um, it tells you installing the Founders node. So you can open up PuTTY and enter the IP address provided and then click open. So there's a number of ways you can do this. If you're using Mac like I am, you can just press the command and space. So put in Spotlight. Now, you can just type in terminal. So you don't need to run FileZilla or PuTTY. Um, when you run PuTTY, uh, I could somewhat complicate things. So one way of doing that is actually just opening up a command shell or terminal and doing an SSH into your, into your Gala node or your Founders node. So now we're going to come back to your Founders node. Once you've clicked into it, what you want to do is copy this IP address. All right. Now, for, so I'm just going to do SSH at root and then I'm going to put in this IP address. So follow me here. Do you see what I'm putting here? SSH space root at the IP address. And then before you press enter, you want to just copy this password just by clicking on it. All right. Now I'm going to press enter. You're not going to be able to see or type your password. You're not going to see it. It's just going to be blank. You're just going to do a command and V on Mac and it automatically enters and I'm going to press enter. And look at this. I'm in my node right now. Look. I want to tell you how passive this is. I haven't logged into my node in so long that I don't even remember the last time. The statistics are here. Today's date is Sunday, May 9th. I'm doing this on Mother's Day. Look at the last login. My last login was March 31st. Prior to this was, I think it was February. Like It's been so long. Last login was April, April 17th. So. The reason why I last logged into here, I think it was because I, I rebooted it for some reason. But look, the last login was March 31st because I rebooted it. Uh, but anyways, let's continue on to the instructions. The instructions has changed, right? So you can also do a list of upgrades. I'm going to make a video on how to upgrade your node for Gala nodes and then restart everything in case things aren't running. So. Let's come over here and continue with instructions. So now that you've opened up a terminal screen, now you're in command line. The next thing you want to do is actually just put in, type in this curl space. So you can do curl space. Now what you want to do is just copy this, copy that sudo bash, paste that in, press enter and away you go and that is it and that is it and all you have to do is the next thing is you get your gala node gala soft node which you should receive an email when once you get it and as you can see over here i've got gala games node i'm just going to open it up and you can see i've got my nodes online total nodes online for the gala network total minted all right so you can see the network power you can see everything here so every so often there's going to be community votes, right? That you can have a say in the network that anything that they propose. And this is the beauty of Gala nodes and them working with the community. You've got voting powers like every other master node out there. So you can look at your treasure chest to see what's in there and it'll directly go into your treasure chest. Um, and you just, you know, majority of this is just to kind of look at your dashboard just to make sure that your node is online. So once you've installed that headless unix uh, command line shell and everything that i showed you you're going to see this your nodes online then you're going to see exactly the total nodes online and this growing 
But anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, very straightforward, very easy. It's not complicated at all. Like I said, the only thing that might be complicated is you actually signing up for your server on Vulture and then getting into running either PuTTY or running a command space on terminal on Mac. But like I said, it's very easy to do and you don't really need PuTTY. Uh, some people prefer PuTTY. Some people prefer, uh, you know, tools like FileZilla. So in my next video, I'm going to actually show you how to upgrade your node in case you need to upgrade it. So people are asking, why do I need to upgrade it? Because Linux and Unix no nodes have a firmware that you need to upgrade, the security to the patches, etc. No different from, from Windows terminals, but on, on Linux and Unix, very easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that later on. But anyways, that's it for the video. If you liked it, comment, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one.